Good evening. Good evening, family. Before the night ends, I have to give us this quick word. Um, if you made it home safely, glory be to God. Amen. So today, this word is for somebody, for someone, and it is for me as well. So today has been very, very interesting. I started to record a few minutes ago, but I had you guys on pause. So I'm just going to redo it, okay? So I was on my way to work, on my way to work, uh, my my car wouldn't crank. So I called my insurance company and um, it's not that I needed a jump start. It wasn't on my policy. And she said it'd be $95. I said, thank you, but no, thank you. I'm not paying $95 for a jump start on my car. So anyway, I called my buddy, contacted him, and, you know, he came through. And um, mind you, it's cold outside, right? I, I, I'm just assume I don't like assume, but, you know, the keys don't do so very well, you know, in, in the cold weather. But let me tell you this. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. That was just a, a, a another dart the enemy tried, right? Just try, you know, uh, creating distraction, creating distraction. Yet, Family, we cannot be distracted. We cannot uh, just, you know, something that happened in the, the the natural. You know, you could, my mind could have wandered down the the, uh, the rabbit hole, right? Just all these other thoughts and being angry or mad or et cetera, et cetera. But no, I know that the enemy tried it. The devil is a liar. My father is exalted and Jesus is Lord. Amen. And so. You cannot be distracted. The enemy will try it, but you have to stay focused on Jesus and what he's doing for you in this season. It is your harvest, right? So I knew that was just a, a distraction. A, the enemy tried to distract me from what God is doing in my life. And, you know, we cannot allow that family. We cannot allow that in Jesus' mighty name. And so... um, you know, I just, I, I end up purchasing a uh, battery charger, right? So I have that. I, I, I cannot charge it yet because, you know, I had to take the, the, uh, the battery out of my vehicle. The battery is yet still cold. You know, it's, it's a, a hazard, you know, from what I've read and what my buddy had told me is that you cannot, you cannot charge a cold battery, right? So I have to wait till till it's at its warm um, room temperature to, you know, begin to do that. But again, it's it's not detrimental. It's it's not, uh you know, something that's big. Yet, it hindered me from being at my workplace. Though I'm able to work remotely. And I tell you this, it is not... <laughs> It is not a luxury. I do not like working from home. I do not. I, I dislike it. So I just put in vacation time for today. Whatever. But the problem, the situation is it can be fixed. Okay. And it can be fixed. All right. And so again, the enemy will try when you at your breakthrough. When you are at your breakthrough, the enemy will try to throw you a distraction. The enemy would try to get you to focus on other things. We cannot allow that. Glory be to God. We stay focused and we stay reminded on the Father's word and we know what he's doing for us. Only thing we do is we praise him and thank him and we give him glory. Amen. And so what I want to tell you guys, what I want to tell you guys, oh, I want to read. This coincides with what I'm saying. James chapter one. So this is a this is what has happened. Yet we have to remember, I have to remember, even with your sales family. Count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work. That you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Lacking nothing. Amen. Lacking nothing. Okay. So be reminded, family, 
be reminded. Patience. The testing. The testing, right? Of my faith. What I'm focused on with, with the Father and what I know He's doing, that could have easily shifted. Easily shifted, right? Because of this this trial, this 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 distraction that the enemy tried with me, right? But I count it all joy. I count it all joy. Amen. Glory be to God. And so shall you. And so I want to also read from Lamentations chapter 3. So family, be excited what the Father is doing. Eyes, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, right? The Father is able to do amazing, more than we can ask or think, right? And so, I'm so excited. I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The Father is so good. And knowing that, I know, I know, family. We've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. We came out of, coming into, you know, a lot of things has happened in our lives, yet we're still here. Why? How? Because of the Father. He has been covering us. He's always been with us. Even when we didn't feel it or see it, He's always been with us. And He has better, greater abundance, right? Bigger for us, for you, for me, right? And so knowing that it's all, it's all happening. You are in your harvest, right? Where you belong is where the Father wants to take you, right? And you settled for so long. I, I can say the same, you know, I speak for myself. You know, I've settled for so long, but I know this is not where I need to be, where I should be, right? And give him your yes. The Father's going to take you where, where you belong and where he wants you to be, right? Because it's only better for you, right? The, the, the settling season is over. Glory be to God. It is over. Amen. So let's uh, read from chapter three, Lamentations chapter three. We're going to start from, let's see, 24. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Amen. So you guys, yeah, let's read verse 27. It is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. And that just reminds me, you know, the father said, my burden is light. My yoke is easy. Take, take upon my yoke. Take ye, paraphrase it, take you upon my yoke. Upon, take my yoke upon yourself for it is easy and light. It is easy and light. Paraphrasing, okay. But you hear what I'm saying. For his yoke is easy and light, right? And so when we were in our youth, everything was so easy and light, you know, we, really didn't have anything to worry about, right? We were just so youthful. We were, uh, you know, just just great, you know, no worries, right? Because our parents had taken care of everything, you know, we didn't have any worries. Roof over our head, we had food on the table, we had, you know, um, clothes, you know, you know, for, for some, you know, life was good, right? You didn't have to worry about anything. You the only responsibilities you had were your chores and your, your your homework, you know, going to school, you know, and bathing yourselves and things like that. But it was light and easy, right? And so it's good for a man to bear the yoke in his childhood. So and even now in our adulthood, you know, we take on what Jesus Christ gives unto us. We take what he has for us, bearing his yoke, you know, his burden, which is light and easy for us, right? And so we wait on the Lord and... While we wait, patiently wait, 
patiently wait, right? It would be perfect. It would be perfected. It would, it would be perfect. Waiting on the Lord. Let's go back to James. Count it all joy. Your testing, it produces patience. Your faith, testing of your faith, produces patience, right? And even though, you know, whatever we've gone through, right? And yet we're still here because the Father is not done. He's still working his plan for your life. It shall come to pass. The things that he wants to give unto you, bless you with, it shall be, right? It is already done. All his promises are yes and amen, right? And so we walk into it. The Father will walk us into it. Yet our faith, we receive it all by faith. And we stay focused. We stay grounded on the word and let it not depart, right? We stay grounded and the enemy will try to snatch that word from you. The enemy will try to get you to focus on something else. The enemy will try to uh, misalign you, right? The enemy will try to just pull you away. But we cannot allow that in Jesus' mighty name. And know that we have authority over the enemy. So the enemy can't do anything to us, right? He cannot do anything to us. He would try to argue the truth with you. No. The father of all lies, right? There's no truth in the enemy, right? There, there's no truth in him at all. And we, we believe it and we stand on the Father's word. We stand on Jesus Christ's word and what he says and what he's going to do for us and what he's already done for us is what we are already receiving, right? And we give him our yes and we stay clean to him and his word and we stay focused. We stay focused, even though it may tarry. It may tarry. Yet, it is here. You are in your harvest, right? You are in your harvest season. Glory be to God, right? The Father has so much for us, so much for you. It's not over. Do not be distracted. Even though there may a distraction may come, do not focus on it. You know that is from the enemy. Do not focus on that, right? Do not focus on that, okay? And yes, our faith will be tested. Right? Yet we stay focused. We stay focused and be steadfast. Because the Father is everything. He's everything. Everything. Right? It is Him that make things happen. It is Him that open the doors. It is Him that close doors we should not enter into. It is Him that make our path straight. It is Him. All things. It is Him that we are able to bear fruit. It is Him that we are saved. Right? It is in and through him that we have life, you know, that we have life and live it more abundantly, right? In Jesus' mighty name, it is him. So don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Amen. And keep your eyes on the Father. Keep your eyes on the Father. Amen. And for those who are not saved, John 3, 16, repent, confess. Confess with your mouths, believe in your heart. Amen. So family, be encouraged. I hope this word blesses you. I hope this word meets you where you are. If this word resonates with you, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share. And, you know, listen to other content. If you feel led to so, click the links, okay? You guys be safe. Know that you are blessed. You are blessed. And be a blessing unto others. Amen. Family, be, ex like I told you, expectancy, expectancy, and not just the expectancy, a woman in Christ, she, I, I listened to her today, she said, rare, 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 so look forward to that, rare, not only what you expect the Lord to do, and what he's already done, but with, with it, it comes rarity, very rare, rare, so be expecting and be encouraged. Be encouraged in Jesus' mighty name. It is done. It is already done. And so we thank you, Father. We thank you for your good works. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you chose us to be witnesses. We thank you that you love us so. And we thank you. And as your word says, so be it unto us in Jesus' mighty name. So family, be encouraged. Be expecting. And don't be distracted. Don't focus on what the enemy is doing. Focus on God, okay? Focus on the Heavenly Father. 
focus on Jesus Christ. It's all working. He's working. He's orchestrating. He's working. All things work together for your good for those who love God. So continue, family. Continue. Be excited. I'm excited for you. And I am so excited what the Father is doing. Glory be to God. Oh, my gosh. This is so amazing. It is so amazing. I'm so pumped. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And everything else that the Lord has for me. I'm excited. Prepare us, Father. Prepare us. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you all with the love of Christ. I'm Infinite Child. I will check in with you later. Have a good night. Peace.